Symbols and Trifles by Kaylee Coleman Trifles Trifles equal something of little value or importance. Susan Glassbell uses trifles in Minnie's everyday life to symbolize what has happened in the story. In this story, Minnie and John's neighbor comes to talk to John about a telephone, which they do not have in their home. He walks in and finds Minnie rocking in her chair. He then asks where John is. She tells him that he is upstairs sleeping. The neighbor walks up to see John, who had been strangled to death by a rope. He then reports to the sheriff about this incident. They take Minnie into custody and keep her at the station. The men and their two wives then go to Minnie's house to find clues of the murder. The two women collect items and find more that the men are finding about the murder. The trifles that we read about in the story are also hints of the death of Minnie's husband, John. Trifles such as the house, which was way out in a field all alone, confinement, confinement of Minnie's life, birdcage, which kept Minnie's canary, her knotted quilts that brought her such happiness and joy, Strangulation, strangulation of Minnie's life, her canary, and also her husband. Marriage. Throughout the story, we hear about a broken and hurtful marriage. The house. In this story, Mrs. Hale, which is one of Minnie's longtime friends, quotes, I stay away because it wasn't cheerful. I've never liked this place. I don't know what it is, but it's a lonesome place and always was. The house is in a big field with no neighbors close by. And every time one of Minnie's friends would come visit, they would always say that they felt very unwelcomed. And it was very sad and very dirty and not kept up. There was no joy in this house. Confinement. In the story, Mrs. Hale also quotes, I have not seen much of her of late years. I have not been in this house. It's more than a year. In the story, you can tell that Minnie was very confined in her, her little house. She had her quilts and her bird, which made her happy. But she had no friends, no close neighbors to talk to or ask for help. And she lived with her mean, cruel husband. She felt like she was trapped in unhappiness. Birdcage. While the women go through many things to find things to bring back to her, they find the birdcage which symbolizes Minnie's life. It was empty and broken, and after all, she was caged in her little house, stuck in the middle of nowhere with nothing in it. They find it to be opened, which is because Minnie had strangled her husband, so now she is free from all of the controlling an empty cage that she had lived in her whole life.
Knotted Quilt While going through Minnie's things, the two women find Minnie's quilts that she had been working on. They were bright and cheerful and brought such happiness to Minnie. Mrs. Peters notices the one that she had been working on. The stitching was very messy and Mrs. Peters said that she had been nervous. Mrs. Hale then says, well, maybe she was just tired. Mrs. Hale then proceeds to fix the stitching while Mrs. Peters disagrees with her actions. The men come down from being upstairs and ask the women what they're doing. Mrs. Hale says that they were just trying to figure out if she was going to knot her quilts or not. They laugh and they proceed to go to the barn to find more clues. The women then stuff the quilts quickly into their bags to bring back to Minnie without saying a word. Minnie's Canary. One critic quotes, she describes Mr. Wright as a hard man and with her recollections of the young Minnie Foster, which is now Mrs. Wright, as kind of like a bird. She establishes the connection of Mr. Wright's involvement in the physical death of the canary and spiritual death of his wife. The critic is pointing out that Mr. Wright was a hard man, which is he was brutal and he was cruel to Minnie. She describes Minnie as kind of like a bird. She was full of life, full of color. She was bright. She had a great voice. A great voice which was killed because the happiness which her bird brought her was strangled. Strangled to death by her husband. Strangulation. Everything in Minnie's life was strangled. Minnie's canary was strangled, which strangled her happiness. Her freedom was strangled, strangled from the outside life because of her husband and her house that was way in the field, away from everyone. Her happiness was strangled from her husband being so controlling and caging her in this home where she was not able to talk to anyone. He strangled her from having kids. She never had kids, which she never had. Uh, she always had a quiet home. He just strangled her life. So then she strangled him. Marriage. One critic quotes, the lack of a telephone, the shabby furniture, the much mended clothing, and a canary with a broken neck, bear mute but telling witness to the harsh meanness and cruelty of John Wright. From the beginning, you can tell that Minnie and John do not have a good relationship. She is trapped in a house far away from everything and everyone with no help. She has an empty house with no children and no happiness. Her bird is strangled by her husband, which is one thing that brought her happiness, and all she had left was her quilts. So she strangles her husband and finally has freedom from this horrible, cruel marriage. <laughs>